Welcome back to Cars for Therapy, guys. You join us back here in Roddy Board. We just got a new, it's an exciting day. We got a new project, you guys. We got a new project. We are here in Roddy Board, as you guys can see. No worry in the street. I'm sorry if I'm crusty. Okay. And there she is, you guys. Just made the payment and we're taking her own home. It's a 1.6 Corolla wagon, station wagon, you guys. What do you guys think about this one? She has a bit of an issue though, but we're going to drive her home. If you can't drive her home, we'll drag her home, you guys. Check this out. In good condition for the price I got, you guys. So mind you guys, the ones, those of you that follow me on my Instagram and watch my stories, I posted this car on my Instagram stories. The owner reached out to me. The owner reached out to me and said, um, asked me to post this car on my Instagram for him. And then I just asked how much does he want. I got a good price for it. And then, yeah. Shout out to Edgar Rabo for this car. Uh, yeah, guys, you're gonna see what we can do with this car it's either i'll sell it because i'm stressed for cash you guys might fix it up and sell it but gonna still have some fun with it you guys don't worry about it but for now let's take her home okay guys first we flew stop this garage doesn't have the mean proper me so we pick up the bottle and then we're pulling out here the tires because they're a bit down especially this side this one, this mommy, and this mommy, she. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And this mommy says, carburetor cars take 90, 93. Yeah, only the best for my cars, yeah, Even race gas, if they had race gas here, yeah, I'll pour race gas into my car. Oh, yeah. oh. So now that uh, we, why we refueling here, you guys? Let me tell you some of the problems. The problem is. Um, it's running a bit rough. It needs you to get on it to pull it to, get, to give you all the power. So probably a carburetor, some plugs, or no filter, maybe somewhere along the lines. And then, uh, what else? The clutch. The clutch is a bit low. It's very low. It's, the pedal feels like it, it's not there. You have to pump it up and then get it into gear. Uh, throw it into gear to get it into gear. So yeah, I think we're done now. So the office is following me. Um, initial issues. There's something also think of with the suspension right here. I think it's the shock or something with the ball joint or control arm pushing. It's not a stop sign. Uh, and then initially I fit better in this than the golf. Yeah, I think so. I fit better in this than the golf than the golf. But yeah, still we do it some more leg room. I think the seat is all the way, way back and I don't have a foot rest for my big foot, big feet. Mind you, I wear size 9, you guys. But yeah, we're almost home. Just going down that road, this road. Yeah, it's supposed to be going 60. Okay, yeah. Now, backfiring, bit misfire, yeah, bit of misfire. So I think it's a, it's a bad fuel issue with this car because it's not giving me all the power. And also it might be the, what's this, carburetor, it might need some carburetor servicing because the idling is way low when you hit the clutch, when you hit the clutch, uh, it just dies off, uh, let me see, yeah, here it is, it's deep. when you hit the clutch, it just dies off, it needs constant lift, so it might need a adjustment, but now, yeah, I know they do cover it, just don't do the same quality of the job as they did a uh, long time ago. The carburetor story being said, once I landed in Soweto, I tried someone else that came recommended by my friend. He did a good job, by the way. So you guys, um, we found an issue with the car. The wash plug is leaking. So all the water leaked out and then uh what happened 
it overheated it was overheating but then overheat to the max 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 but then yeah switch it off and then grease the fan so we're waiting for it to cool down while we're getting some water because i think it had no water that's why it, it, it was leaking the next day so you guys it's the next morning and then we managed to get home just waited for the car to cool down and then pour some water in it and then drove it home it had no car has no lights so just looked it has no clothes so had to turn on my hazards and then drive home luckily it was a short drive and i knew the streets very well yeah yeah so today we're gonna try and get some tools and get the the wash plug out and then get a new one i don't i don't want to go buy a new one without knowing the what's this the size for the wash plug so gonna get the old one out and then go with it to the spare shop before they close because it's a sunday and then yeah hopefully get it in the hardest part is taking it out the easiest part is putting it back in so it might be rusted shut to the block or something i'll show you so we're gonna try this small screwdriver guys and then to put it in we're gonna use this socket i'm sure you're wondering and so you are asking yourself why i have that small set of screwdrivers i used to fix phones before like by fixing cell phones iphones only because they hold their value properly talk about grinding so guys managed to take it out with my brother my big brother and then yeah yes. my initial plan was to hit it from the side but this screwdriver broke within first try and then the tape broke off within first try so you put an allen key in the you pierce the hole with the screwdriver another screwdriver and then put an allen key wrench in there and then leveraged it so it was sitting like this and then leveraged it and popped out so there's the hole over there so i don't know if it will focus okay there you see the best way to prevent this you guys the best way to prevent this is running your car with antifreeze that being said i'm broke right now so i won't be buying antifreeze so i'm just gonna take a brisk walk and go buy this wash plug usually in a perfect world i would just change all four of them but i'm a brokey for now so yeah be sure to click that like and subscribe button yeah. now if you're unlike me a person that has the know-how to do the little stuff and easy things notice that you're all alone when you don't have a car those very same people that you call friends will not be around when you need their help they'll be around when the car is running and fine and everything's peachy when the car is down and out, those so-called friends that just showed up all of a sudden when you have something that everybody likes, they are nowhere to be found when they are needed. Hence why I'm always, most of the time, alone or with two or three friends, max. Just those little life lessons that show you not everybody is here for a long time, but most people are there for a good time. Speaking of friends, I stopped by a friend's house and picked up some silicone because this stuff is expensive and I just need a bit. So we made it back home, you guys. Yeah. So now I have to sand down that thing. I won't bore you with it. So you guys, it might look rough. Ish. Getting the camera to focus. So you guys, it might look a bit rough. Yeah, it might look a bit rough, but it's smooth as I can get it with the sandpaper. So what you want to do here is get a socket that fits exactly the same as this thing, so it sits on the rim. Unfortunately, I don't have that, so I have one that overlaps and then one that goes inside. So this one will initiate this, or maybe I just send it back home, send it all the way home with this one. So this one will initial plan, this one will send it, start the process and then the smaller socket I have will just finish up the process. 
and then I'll put some silicone around here and then fit it properly. So you guys got a thin bead of silicone on this. Now I'm gonna install it. So you guys, we made a blender. This happened and then turned into an oval so it doesn't fit quite right into the shape. I even ended up taking and doing the exhaust manifold but I don't have the proper tools so even getting this off was a mission because I don't have the proper tools anymore. And then when I even if I did take this off I don't have enough swing to work the wash plug in. So my brother went and got me two more of these but what I can feel from these ones they're slightly thinner. They're slightly thinner than this one and they feel the same as this one so this one is also thinner so maybe this time because we're working with thinner wash plugs um they might fit properly in there i'll try it right now but eh, yeah ne, i'm tired so good news we borrowed a hammer and then we got it in and as you can see got it in just put in some more silicone around it and then I think that should do it. And there we go. And like that you guys we're done. Just gonna wait for some time for the silicone to cure and then I'm gonna fill it up with water, bleed the car and then run it. That being done, Karabo, his sibling and one of his other friends came off to drop off some paperwork. Both of the cars have a suspension and a very clean, clean fitment. Hello guys. Yeah, we did it yesterday but we didn't succeed. As you can see from over there, it's leaking, still leaking, you guys. So what we're gonna do is use this. Don't know if you can see this. Uh, party standing in here. This is concrete standing in, swimming party, whatever. I can't really say the 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 the, the name because I'll be shamelessly plugging them so yeah gonna be using that now how you use this you mix this into two equal parts and then knead it mix it all together until it's all one uniform color and then smear it on there it takes about four hours to set and then four hours to set rock hard and then 24 hours to set full 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 so I think I'll be doing that. And then on top of that, we sprung another leak at the water pump. I don't know if the water is from coming from the weep hole from the water plug, water pump, or is it just another leak from the gasket from the water pump? Regardless, we need to wash this engine. So maybe I'll see from there. It would have been easier if we had um, empty freeze, but we can't put empty freeze while we're still having leaks like this, you guys. That's why antifreeze is dyed a different certain color so that you can see uh, if there's a leak in your system. So yeah, I don't wanna bore you with the time lapse of me doing this. So show you when this repair is done. Okay, you guys, I tried recording my arts and culture knowledge, and there you go. And before you say push mechanic, push mechanic. This is what they did before and from the looks of it I think they added an old one on top of a new one on top of an old one because it's not supposed to be out that much but I replaced it and then it started leaking and then yeah but there's a small leak so hopefully that thing will hold after all that decided to wash the engine so that we can see where the oil leaks are coming from and where all the water leaks are coming from okay you guys we just washed the engine bay and then one thing you should know about uh, washing the engine bay you should keep your coil pack your out of water because your coil unlike your girlfriend and his and their milk bestie they don't these ones don't get along coil and water doesn't get along 
and then do you manage to get thing okay you guys now that our engine bay is looking a bit better i had to agitate this some of this because i didn't have a pressure washer i had to agitate this with a brush to get some of the grime out and stuff but then now i have to deal with this eye so ideally i'd like to spray black but i have a, uh, i have some leftover rattle can that is fine silver i would spray this but i will see maybe this needs powder coating someone owes me a favor and maybe they might have to do this for me before i got spray painting i started off preparing the surface getting some loose rust off the metal surface before i laid down some paint of course when you're preparing and wanting to get rid of some rust you use some rough sandpaper if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and please do like and share the video by liking this video you automatically recommend this video to other people on youtube through the youtube algorithm more people see the video more people are likely to subscribe and then we'll start seeing some progress on this channel you guys Now that we got the surface rust off, now it's time to paint. And then the next video, that's where tragedy happens. <sighs> yep, I was busy preparing, getting my footing and then broke my ring light. R.I.P. But I still can fix that, I think. Had to do the spray painting and get some videos for you guys. So ended up doing one-handed. I know that you all guys get some serotonin levels from me doing this. Let me keep quiet and watch. Yeah, we got some bubbles. I don't know if it's from overspraying or what, but anyways, no one will see this, so it's not that important. But still try to fix it since I'm kind of OCD that way. I don't like leaving my workmanship like bad like that. Anyways, it looks better than what it looked like before, so I'm happy with that. Yes, we got more bubbles again, but yet again, we don't care because no one will see this. Hey, pop the hood. <laughs> no!
Another issue I wanted to address since I'm bored in Brook are the bonnet bump stops. The bump stops make it so that you have proper spacing on your bonnet so it doesn't look very off as I'm showing you right here. So I tried to fit some rubber around it and make a makeshift one. This rubber was too small. And then I cut up a bigger piece of water pipe but it failed. Like I said, makes it look better. Got rid of that eyesore. So you guys, the car is running. The car is running and then might need a coil. Let me show you what's happening. Make sure that the spark is jumping and make sure that the HT is all the way in. It's all the way in. I think some moisture got in there because as you saw when I pulled off the, the, the plastic cover, uh, there's still some moist in there, some moisture in there. But so far, no leak from our fix, you guys, but might need some entries down the line. Check if we have. Have to check if we have. Uh, if it holds temp. If it holds temp, then we go because sometimes it passes temp. Let me show you. I got the car. It used to stay directly at the symbol. No going. And then on after the day, and then on that day, it, it took a poo. It went like here, and then went all the way here, and then sometimes yeah. And then after I tried fixing it, but with some leaks, the fan would come on, but come on after the symbol, like over here. So now I'm gonna see, wait and see if the fan hits right at the symbol and constantly hits there time and time and again. That means we fixed everything. There's a caveat. I discovered another leak right by the water pump. Right by the water pump. Just small things that are stopping me from doing big things to this car. Yes? Discover a small leak from the water pump. I don't know. Maybe I so on. I will see, guys. I, maybe it just needs. Maybe it's the wee pull from the water pump. If it's the wee pull from the water pump, that means uh, we have to get a new water pump. If it's just leaking from the gasket, and then I'll just put in some silicone and send it home because I wanna do some stuff with this kind. I haven't even driven it very far, so I wanna get some driving time in, you guys. So you guys the fan is working it was at the symbol and then it was at the symbol and then went down so yeah we good